Number 11 then from the 2016 Advanced Hour Maths. Another little full mark question. The height of a cube is increasing at the rate of 5 centimetres per second. So the height is increasing. So that will be the rate of change of the height. Find the rate of increase of the volume. So you want dv by dt at the point at which the height of the cube is at 3 centimetres. Well, in fact, writing this down gets you the first mark. Just put it down again. dh by dt equals 5. That's the first mark. Now, I need a connection because to find dv by dt, the plan will be to get dv by dt, if I can have dv by dh, I can then multiply it by dh by dt. Now, realising that gets you a mark. So what is this then? Well, it's a cube. And in a cube, all the sides stay the same. The height may well be increasing, but all the sides are increasing the same amount. So that means each of the sides has been called h in this case, if I've chosen that letter. So v is h cubed. So dv by dh is going to be 3h squared. That gets you a mark. Now you've just got to put it all together. So what is dv by dt? It'll be 3h squared times, and that's just 5. And it happens when h is 3. So that's 3 times 3 squared times 5. Whichever way you like, 27 times 5, 135, but that'll be centimetres cubed per second. And there's the fourth mark. Now, you can shorten this process from here, this statement, but you don't usually do this. But it's not usually emphasised at advanced high level by saying, I'll differentiate both sides with respect to t. So you've got dv by dt, and since h is varying with respect to t, you've got a function of a function, so that'll be 3h squared times dh by dt, which of course would take you straight to there and give you these two marks. And then popping the number in gives you the final answer. Now, there's a method 2 mentioned in the marking scheme. Well, there was actually method 2 over there, but you just differentiated implicitly which is to get the volume directly as a function of time, and doing that just gets you one mark and then you differentiate it and so on, but it takes a bit of time to get to that because you'd have to step back from here. If dh by dt is that, that means h must be 5t, but plus some constant, where that constant would be the height at the start because there's no, no mention this question of this cube multiplying up from zero. I just said it's increasing at 5 centimetres per second, certainly round about when the height was 3. And then you could have a formula for the volume, which would be 5t plus h naught cubed. Of course, there's no h naught mentioned in the marking scheme, in which case dv by dt would be 3 times 5t plus h naught squared times 5. Of course, now I've got to figure out what the time was when the height got to three centimetres. But so far, that should have been the first mark. That should have been the second mark. Now, figuring out t, you don't actually need to figure out what t is to put it in here because you've got this expression. 5t plus h naught equals the height. So this should equal three at whatever time that was. So that should equal three times three squared times five, which gives you 135 centimetres cubed per second. So I'm just going to put putting the three in there instead of actually working out the time. Gives you the fourth mark and then there's the final mark.